Hi everyone, it's Killshot from 99Gaming, and this is Dawn of Titans getting started again. So you guys probably remember about a year ago I did some tutorials with this, worked with the folks over at Natural Motion when it was alpha beta. It's general release now, the game has changed a lot, and our gaming channel has changed a lot as well too. Over 60,000 subscribers, multi-platform gamers, Walking Dead specialists, and now we're going to get back into Dawn of Titans. You can see I'm at a little different starting point. I'm level 18, obviously some of the stuff from the past populated, but a lot of stuff with the Titans did not carry over. So I'm not going to go through a full tutorial to Today. I'm just going to show you a little bit of some of the stuff that I'm building, some of the upgrades that you can get, and then we'll just do a uh, little bit of Q&A in the comments down below. So here you go. You can see, starting out with the castle, my castle is, I think, level 22 out of a max of level 25. And the key with this when you guys are starting out, if you click on a, a different structure, you can see what it takes in order to get to the next level. So if I want to upgrade my castle, i got to upgrade my armory to level 21 and my hall of titans up to level 7. So if you just hit the little magnifying glass, it'll take you over to that fixture. It's a nice little shortcut. So in order to upgrade my Hall of Titans, I need to have my castle level 19. Obviously, I have that. But medical school, I need to upgrade that as well, too. And it would be pretty easy to do. Uh, but it's 2.26 million coin in order to do that. I only have 199,000. So if you'd like to uh, click on a lot of different things, this is the game for you. Let's go ahead and collect all of our stuff. You can see we've got some nice corn working. we got some coins. And this replenishes pretty fast. So this is your standard build it up game. So you can see you can go ahead and upgrade your mines. If you want a little bit more uh, gold, you can upgrade your farms. And that's going to be all of your production. And I'm just going to scroll through and show you all the fixtures that you can actually build. So there's a gold vault just to store all your stuff. And then we also got the granary, which is a place to store all your food. You've got to keep that stuff upgraded. And let's go over to the armory. So the armory, we can go ahead and enter that. And that's where you can upgrade your troops. You can see I got level 20 archers. Awesome, awesome stuff. So you keep those things gradually queuing. And then when you go out to war, because the name of the game ultimately is going to be battling people. And the cool thing about this game is you can take lands, defend lands, and take them from other people. I think that's really the allure to it. So let's go in and you can see a little bit of the shop you can buy your four star titans a chance for four star titans now keep in mind those are pretty rare and i did have i think the world's first maxed out four star titan it was level 30 and then that has been kind of buffed a little bit because they did change the rankings of the game so let's go over to hall of titans because that's the cool stuff as well too let me show you some of those four stars just go ahead and enter that and there you can see this is one of my rare ones that i got early on this is venom tusk pretty cool stuff I still don't have a ranger. I have a lot of ranger shards in order to upgrade. But I'll just real quick show you all my titans as we scroll through. Some of them were converted to um, relics. And then I can click on the relic and actually unlock them. But here's a few of the four stars. You can see Sarkon, Freya, Volstan, and there is uh, Koldan. I think Koldan's name changed. I think it was Joel, Joel something. I don't remember what it was. But they changed his name. And a lot of these are a little bit different. There's some of the three stars. Obviously, just like any other collect game, you want to get the four stars and level those guys up as quick as possible. When you go out and attack people, you gain experience points and you can level those guys up. There's also some really cool troops over here. I've been attacked. So these are some of the specialty troops. This is a Lithian Palace. And then who else we got here? We got Ragnar. The Unak. And I think early on in the game, I can't do it now, you get to pick a specialty. So you get to pick which one of those groups that you want to build and, and uh, whether it's going to be Unok or it's going to be a Lithian. Let's go and show you a little bit of the, I think there's a couple more, uh, Spellforge as well too. So oh, we can go into the temple. Temple is basically all your, you can go into your relics. Where's the temple? There we go. And it also... If you click on the buildings once you go into the temple, it shows you the stuff that you haven't completely built. So, for example, I can build another spell forge. I'm not going to. I don't need it right now. And let's go back into the temple. Because there is something else I do want to build. I got you guys here. Food reserve, gold reserve. And what those things do is when you get attacked, it allows you to keep a certain percentage of it. So, let's go ahead and build a gold reserve. Yeah, we'll build it right there. The construction is really cool on these things. 
Oh, I got to get all my stuff together. See, when you're spread out like that, it's just all over the place and you can't keep up to date on your clicking. Arcane Tower. Arcane Tower is where you go in and build your spells. These will help you out in battle, lightning, rage. And I can definitely upgrade that as well, too. Barracks, if you want to queue your troops, always keep those queuing. So I want some archers going. Let's get some militia. Because the name of the game, as I said before, is battle. There's the food reserve we talked about. And let me get a real quick battle against the easy opponent. I did this earlier in my live stream. And to show you a little bit of that. And I'll do some future videos just to kind of explain it a little bit more. So you hit that little button over in the left corner. And the thing with capturing these little islands is you can see you can get gold from them and also VP. Your VP is basically like your, your ranking. It's kind of like prestige in some of the other games. And then all the people in your faction just going to be circled around each other so you can pr uh, protect each other. And let's scroll over here and let's attack somebody. All right, this guy's got plenty of lands. He won't mind if we take one. I hope. You know what? He'll retaliate against him. Let's let's leave this dude alone right now. I'll go find somebody else. That's a little bit weaker. Oh, we also got some of our Okay, we got some arenas up there as well too. I think that might be a new feature. I'll do a different video on that. And not a whole lot of people floating around here. Alright, here we go. So use these crystals in order to attack. You can raid or you can capture. So I'm going to capture. Wow, so I have to fuse some titans in order to raid. So you know what? I'm going to get rid of... Um, let's fuse those guys. All right, that'll take me up to level 10. We are going to fuse them together. Got a new relic slot and also moved up a little bit. All right, that should allow me to go in and get an attack going. Now i got to find this guy all over again, really. Who are these guys? All right, real quick. Just going to take his land, sorry. He's a low level. Alright, so I'll tell you what guys, this is the uh, getting started video. I'll get an attack video for you guys very, very soon. I don't want to run this too terribly long. But this is Dawn of Titans getting started again. I'll do a lot of updates with this. Thanks everyone for watching. If you guys are old school Dawn of Titans fan, hit the subscribe button. All of my uh, Walking Dead Road to Survival, Empires and Allies fans, thanks so much for checking this game out. My name is Killshot. Give this video a thumbs up. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.